Yo, what's up, YouTube? Here's Bit Rip Bit Rip Beats Bucket again. So today I tried to make a Jay Dilla type of beat, kind of smooth with um, some smoothness. Definitely open up a new project. Definitely open up first a new bank. Then I want to go into my samples. Set with Rip samples. Uh, here we go, samples. And then I have to go here and grab the. Alright, I grab this, then I put definitely the slide mode on, make a zoomy zoomy, and then I chop the sample. Alright, so I'll pitch this down, I think three seconds. And then before I go further, I save this as U dupe JD type. Boom, save this. Alright, I pitch this for semitone down. Definitely go into effects, put in a high cut, high pass filter. Yes, sir. Maybe I put the number five and put in a band shelf and kill the this kind of frequency. Alright. Good, good. So I want to record this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, brother, that sounds kind of dope. So double tap on it, push the key button, then to pattern MIDI, grab everything and put everything in the same loudness. Wait a second. Boom. Yeah, bro. Yo, so what the heck, what the heck, what the heck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I definitely need some dope ass YouTube drums, so go into my bank, grab the YouTube drums, and let me record some drums, bros. Before I record the drums, let me turn off the quantization and let's try this. Alright, so I will mix it now and then we go into the next level. iPad got some problems over here. My iPad Air 2, that's why I do not recommend buying an iPad Air 2. Alright guys, so let me hear this. Okay, what I'm doing on the sample now is I push in a sidechain compressor. So I trigger the kick. The kick is on the number 4. Okay, let me see. And I want a reverb on the on the sample for the stereo vibeness. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I hold this bank and save it. Let's say JD sample boom. Yeah, copy the sample too, save this. So we'll open up a new bank and then grab the preset. But in this one, in this sample, I want to put in different effects. But first I need to grab this and copy everything. Copy. Now I'll go to the second sample and paste all that. Because on this sample I want to cut off the high frequencies, so make a low pass filter in it.
this is for the web part. Let me turn down a little bit more the reverb. Wonderful, wonderful. Now I just need a bass line and a string and I think I'm done. Okay, where's my super bass? Yeah, bro, don't play with the J Dilla shit. Chicka chicka. Alright, and now I will record the bass. I know the bass will, bit, will be a little bit too loud, but we will fix this later on. Let's go. One, two, three, four. It. Let me record this again. One, three, three, four. save everything all right so maybe i can find some strings i'm not 100 sure i wish that if you go into the folder into the folder section that you also could searching some stuff that would be dope but anyways okay i found some strings put in some reverb plenty of it turn up the attack let me try to find some good melodies and now we record the strings one two three uh, four eight z So I saved this definitely, now I need to crash. So let me find a crash. There we go. Okay, alrighty then. Let me turn it a little bit down. Oh, the volume a little bit high. Okay, let me go back. Oh no, need to be on one shot mode. Definitely the brightest reverb we can ever find. The room size a little bit longer, a little more mix. All right, let me record this. One, two, three, two. All right, that's it. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, what the heck is going on here? Okay, no, let me do it like that. All right, cool. So guys, I will arrange the beat now, mix it a little bit, and then we can hear the, you can hear the final product. Thank you very much for checking, for tuning in. And um, if you got any question, leave the question on the section, bro. Don't play with shit, homie. All right, guys, leave a like or something like that. Maybe you subscribe. I would would be very happy. And yeah, Jay Dilla, Jay Dilla inspired beat. Still love him. And see us in the next time. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.